doesn't your party have to take some form of responsibility, given that members supported this protest, even if it did turn violent, there has to be some form of condemnation for at least the violence? Well, we, we, we condemned the violence. Uh, we distanciated ourselves from, uh, from the protest. We didn't organise it. We didn't mobilise for it. It's not our, uh, our rally. It's not our manifestation. And we condemned, of course, the violence. Um, uh, well, it, it's, it is non-binding, but it is, um, uh, it, it, it is a kind of soft law that can creep into your jurisdiction anyway, and that is the, the problem we have. There are a number of reasons why we can't support it, but that is one of the most important things. So if you say it is non-binding, it can be true, uh, but, but um, it, it, it has, you know, in, in jurisdiction, we, we've seen that in the past, that some these kind of non-binding agreements still creep in, into your legislation and jurisdiction anyway. Cool. Well, is, we haven't just seen those uh, protests in, uh, in Brussels at the weekend. We also saw tear gas and water cannon-filled uh, streets around different European capitals, from the Yellow Vest unrest in Paris, pensioners protesting in Greece, and anti-government demonstrators in Serbia. Also, of course, Hungary, where around 10,000 people braved freezing temperatures to oppose controversial legislation dubbed the Slave Law. It was the largest of four anti-government protesters in Budapest since the ruling for Diz party passed the law last Wednesday. It allows employers to ask workers to do up to 400 hours of overtime a year. Waving Hungarian and European Union flags, the crowd headed from Hero Square towards Parliament and then to the state TV headquarters in a march nicknamed rather festively Merry Christmas, Mr. Prime Minister. But Esther, uh, it may have had a very festive name, but certainly the protesters were not being uh, very warm or festive towards Mr. Orban. What, again, is the, the thought process? It's simply opposition to this so-called slave law. I think the, the protests have been, this time, have been kicked off by this, this slave law because it mobilized a larger number of people than usually uh, who go to these dem demonstrations. But it's not only about that. It's about, I mean, there are five demands that the protesters have put forward and they also call for independent media, independent courts, and for Hungary to join the European uh, Prosecutor's Office to oversee the correct, fund, uh, correct spending of EU funds. So I think it's, it's more of uh, tensions boiling over in Hungary and eight years of Orbán's government uh, causing all kinds of eruptions and eruptions within the society. And what